All right, chapter 15, number 30. Uh, hotel managers carried a significance test on the BSRI femininity scores of 148 male general managers. General managers of three and four star hotels. You now realize a confidence interval for the mean score would be more informative than a test. You want to estimate the mean within plus or minus 0.2 with 99% confidence. The standard deviation is probably close to the value of 0.78 for the adult male population. How large of an SRS of hotel managers do you need? Okay, the first thing you need to do is recognize or remember uh, what a 99% confidence interval looks like for the mean. So that's x bar plus or minus z star times sigma over the square root of n. This is my overall confidence interval for mu, so this is a confidence interval for mu, the population mean. So a 99% confidence interval, that means z star is 2.576. So that'd be x bar plus or minus 2.576 times sigma over square root of n. Now we want we want to estimate the mean to within point plus or minus point 0.2. Well, that's this number right here, which is called the margin of error. Okay, because we're going to go take a sample and be plus. We want this to be less than or within point 0.2. So this, we want to estimate x bar plus or minus point 0.2. So how big does n have to be? Because we know sigma. Sigma is 0.78. So we want 2.576 times 0.78 divided by the square root of n to be equal to 0.2. We actually want it to be less than or equal to, but if I make it equal to, and then as long as n is larger than that value, it'll be smaller than 0.2. Because the larger n is, since it's in the denominator, the smaller this number will be. Because if you divide by a bigger number, this number gets smaller. So solve this for n. So as we did in class, let's divide by 2.576. So we get 0.78 over square root of n equals 0.2 over 2.576. And if I do that, and I want to always not round until the very end as much as possible. Divided by 2.576. So I get 0.78 over square root of n equals 0 0.0776. Now I'm going to multiply by the square root of n. 0 0.78 um, equals 0 0.0776 times the square root of n. Now I've actually left this whole number in my calculator. I'm going to divide both sides by it now. So when I left it in my calculator, I'm not really dividing by 0 0.0776, but the whole big long number. So I get the square root of n equals 0.78 divided by 0 0.0776397516 is actually what my calculator kept it as. So it's 10.0464. And then I'm going to go ahead and square both sides. So n equals 100.93. So as long as n is larger than that, then this right here will be smaller than 0.2. So if n is equal to 101, then I know my margin of error will be less than 0.2, which is what we asked it to be, because we want it to be within 0.2. Of, um, of the mean of X bar. So there we go.